Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Cheebs. Today I want to show you guys how to get this skin effect for when you're creating creatures. It's actually pretty easy and adds a good amount of life to your 3D animations. If you want to download the Blender file that I'm using in this tutorial, it will be linked in the description of this video. I've got my animated creature here, but it looks a bit stiff. Um, obviously not because of my uh, amazing animation skills or anything like that. To make this look good, we're going to use some simulation. There are actually two different methods we could use, cloth simulation or soft body simulation. I'll show you guys both of them, starting with cloth. Select the creature and enable cloth simulation. The whole thing follows because the whole body is simulated right now. What we want to do is to use a vertex group to paint out what we want to be simulated and what we want to remain solid. And in that way, the simulated parts will stick to the solid parts, and the whole thing will all stay together and get a little bit of movement. Let's go back to frame 1 and enter weight paint mode. We don't want to paint into the vertex groups generated from our armature, so let's add a new one with this plus button. We can now paint over the parts that we want to have simulated movement, such as the belly and the tail. From here, just use the average or smudge brush to smooth this out a little bit. When we use this for our cloth simulation, the stiffness will be determined by how strong the weight is in that area. So a blue area will get a lot of movement, and a red area will be completely stiff. To flip these weights around so that they will work right for that, we will pull up the search menu with F3 and type in Invert Vertex Group. You could paint in the weights the way they need to be without inverting, but it usually saves time to do it this way as the simulated area is most often smaller than the non-simulated area. Let's now go back to those physics settings and find the shape drop-down menu. You'll want to select the vertex group we just made as the pin group, and now only those painted areas will have the cloth simulation. You can play with the stiffness setting for some quick control, and of course you'll want to play with the other cloth settings as well. The process for doing this with soft body simulation is actually almost exactly the same. Make the creature a soft body object and find the goal dropdown. Then select the vertex group in this field. I found that this works a lot better if you increase the stiffness, the damping, and the minimum value under the strength. And that is how you can get some simple simulated movement for your animated creatures with both cloth and soft body physics. So, in any situation, which one should you use? And the answer to that question is actually pretty simple. In almost every situation, I will end up using cloth simulation because it's more plug and play. If I do some playing with the cloth simulation, I can get better folding such as this, and soft body just can't provide that, especially with the amount of little errors that we can see in other areas of the body. So at the end of the day, I almost always use cloth simulation for this effect. But if you want to try those soft body settings, then there they are. Again, you can download an example blend file with the link in the description. Please like and subscribe if you like this content. Thank you all for watching and have a great day.